You gave birth to a baby! That's not a small commitment! So yeah, I didn't like this movie. And I think that's gonna be a big issue, because Zendaya is in this movie, and everyone loves Zendaya. She's a Hollywood's golden girl right now. She's the one we all look to for good movies and good television. But I'm sorry to say, she really snuffed it out in this one. It was like, like I, actually, I shouldn't say that. Her acting in this movie is phenomenal, as always. Zendaya cannot not slay. Okay, she is a queen. She is the queen. She's that bitch. The movie in itself, like the story in itself, is so shit. It's so garbage. It, it makes no fucking sense. I mean, I guess... <sighs> See, I'm gonna have to counterpoint myself a lot, because it does essentially make sense. I just don't like that it makes sense. I also just don't like how it fucking happens or how the the sequence of events unfolds so we're just gonna get into it right away and if you haven't seen this movie yet get ready for spoilers because that's all i do if i'm gonna review a movie why would i sit there and just talk about certain talking points where you won't understand them unless you actually see the movie when i don't even think people go to the cinema anymore and people forget that these things exist like right after they came out challengers was coming out and everyone was talking about it because the two dudes and zendaya were in it and it was so they were supposed to be like a big horned up film about tennis and it sort of is a big horned up film about tennis, with no tennis. <laughs> so everyone was talking about it when the movie came out, and then the movie comes out, and I see no one say anything about it, and then it stays out, and I see no one say anything about it. So there you go, I am Church Price, and I am going to say something about it. I wasn't in the movie theater for the beginning of this film. My buddies were, so I didn't get to see the first like 10 minutes of the movie, which doesn't really matter apparently in the grand scheme of things, but I want to point that out because it's important for something that happens later. So, in the beginning, though, from what I understand, is it showcases Art and Zendaya. I think his name's... I don't know the other guy's name, so I'm just gonna call the other dude Goober, because it's what he fucking is. No, you know what? Douchebag. We'll call him Douchebag, because that's what he is. He's Douchebag. He's literally just a self-obsessed, narcissistic piece of shit that Art should never have become friends with in the first place. I get they were going for the whole, oh, he's super nice, and he's super douchebaggy, and that's why they connect, because they're two sides of a super coin, and that's why they love each other, and that's why they're gonna fight eventually, and they do, and it makes sense why, but they, they, I don't think Art, as the character they portray him as, never should have become friends with this douchebag in the first place. It, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. Zendaya liking him makes sense at first, though, because, like, the, the whole tennis thing, and, they, oh, fuck it, we'll just get right into it. So the beginning of the movie showcases that Art and her are married, and then it also showcases the end tennis match, and everything, and like the, the championship that they're going to do, and how like like how they hate each other, but we don't really know why yet, so we're going to see that in the flashback sequences. This whole movie, by the way, is like a filler arc of Naruto. There's so many flashback sequences, and they're not like long and drawn out. They're very quick and sudden, and they like punch you in the face like Mike Tyson. It starts off with that, and then they showcase that they have a child together, and like I said, this is why this is important. I did not know the child was shown before the child is shown later in the movie, and so I didn't know that, that, that there was already like, a thing that you should have known about that. But even then, showing the child in the beginning makes, like now that I know that, it makes a lot of what happens in the first part of the movie kind of fucking stupid, and, and really, really, like, it makes me angry, actually. Because I guess, like, you know, Zen they clearly don't know they're going to have a child. It's like they can tell the future, like, we know the future. So they don't know they're gonna have a child, but then when you find out that they do, and, like, the time frame that it happens, it does sort of make a lot of stuff happen just seem like Zendaya is also a self-obsessed, stupid douchebag, which she does essentially tell them this. She does say this to them when they first meet. Um, and everything, but fuck, I, I keep doing, I keep doing this, but we're gonna, just, let's get right into the fucking movie. So we're gonna jump straight to the fucking beginning, from what I, from what I know. So they're going to college, Art and Douchebag are, like, really good tennis players. They're, like, in these, this, the high leagues of their college, and they're about to go pro. At least one of them is definitely going to go pro, whereas Art has sort of, um, he's hesitant to do it because he doesn't know if tennis wants to be his entire life. He might want to go and do something greater, like, you know, work on his mind or, like, science or something like that. He wants to expand his character. And I gotta say, Art in this movie, they dogpile more in this guy than a fucking fumble, okay? It's crazy. Like, they, he gets treated like shit the entire film, and all he ever really does is be nice. 
Like, he's the definition of nice guys finish last, because he, he fucking does, dude. He does, he has the utmost care and respect for everyone in this film, except for Douchebag, at one point, but it makes sense why he doesn't like him anymore, but they, he still gets treated like shit, even by Zendaya, who is married to him. And that's not even a spoiler yet, because they showcase that in the trailer, like that, that she goes with him eventually, which was kind of a, I really don't like that in the trailer either, because why would you spill, why would you spoil that? If the whole point of the movie was, like a budding three-way romance between the people and you had it in the trailer look like that why would you then spoil it and be like no but she actually goes with this dude and i know i guess i know why because then there's a whole like back and forth after that like hey maybe she might delete the, like she might get rid of the dude and go why does he delete and go back with the other guy and everything and they're trying to allude to that but i feel like that would have been much more of a twist if we just felt it in the movie and maybe it would have made some things not piss me off as much they're at college and they keep talking about this tanisha Zendaya's. I'm gonna call her Zendaya the entire time. I think it's Zendaya. Is it Zendaya? Zendaya? I'm gonna call her Zendaya. I've seen Casey undercover, okay? I'm pretty sure it's Zendaya. Z Zendaya. <laughs> Zendaya. So they see her and that she's playing this other championship against this one girl and they watch her play and when they watch her play, they literally get boners. Like, that's, that's a fucking plot point. Like, they're sitting there and they, like, look at each other's cocks and they're like, huh. You got a chub right now? Dude, you got a chub? I got a chub, dude. <laughs> dude, we're fucking rock hard. And all they're doing is watching her play tennis. And I get it. She's wearing a skimpy outfit. Her fucking, her fucking booty is popping out like this, dude. You know? Fucking seeing that shit right there. See, I get it. She's fucking popping out, okay? Why'd I do that? That's embarrassing. No, it's not. I'm hot as shit. Her, her fucking ass is popping out in that fucking short skirt she's wearing while she's playing tennis and everything. And she's yelling with aggression. She's like, They do that the entire film, by the way, it's not just her, the guys do it too, and I gotta, it just, it makes them sound so gay. Which that is another plot point, that there's like, they, that people be like, oh, you guys clearly are dating, you're not just friends, you're lovers. Which, yeah, I, like, I really think they are. I do, like, and then it comes out later on that they did have a moment where they did kiss each other back in like middle school or something, and they, like, oh, wait, no, they jerked each other off. Yeah, they jerk each other off, kind of like, um... Oh, no, that's gonna be such a bad reference. I was gonna reference Bob from that one Peacock documentary about the girl that was told she was an alien by the predator guy named Bob, and then Bob jerked off Bob in the car to manipulate him, to then make him cheat on his wife, and then, yeah, that was gonna be a bad thing to compare it to. So I'm not gonna compare it to that. I'm just gonna explain that I was going to, and then I chose actively not to, as to not sound like a douchebag. Like, douchebag. <laughs> So they watch her play tennis and they get hard-ons and everything and then they're like they're talking about how cool it was and art is more of like you can tell right away art has more of like a deeper connection with like people rather than sex like he he much more, he would much rather be with the person for the person and their actions and their personality rather than just because they look hot and they are hot and they also think that they're hot like the person the day as in douchebag and everything like that so he like art clearly has more morals and douchebag clearly is a fucking loser. <laughs> Sorry, he's a fucking loser. You can call him a fuckboy, alpha male, Andrew Tate, pill, all you fucking want. He's a fucking loser. People like these are fucking losers. <laughs> at least that's my personal opinion. They're, he's, a, he's a fucking loser. But then they see her at this party, and I gotta say, she's wearing this fantastic, amazingly, like, nice looking blue dress, and I, even I got half shoved in the theater when I saw that, because I don't know if you know this. Blue is my favorite ca color, character. Blue is my favorite color. And I love the color blue. And the blue, that the shade of blue she has on this dress that she's wearing and the little twirl that she does when she's dancing, the little dance music, and, um, I almost jumped into the movie theater screen. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it is still Zendaya. Zendaya's in the movie. She, and they meet up with her at the party and they start to chat, chit chat and everything. They, they, they both try to flirt with her in the moment. And she like clearly t like can see that. And she knows they have a little competition going on of like, who's gonna date her or whatever. So like they're like, they're back and forth with it. And she's like edging into it, like she's like feeding into it, cause she likes it. She likes the attention and everything, which is showcasing her character. She really does only care about the attention. But you know, she has no growth from that, which I thought is part of a movie is character development. But I guess they just forgot to add that in this one. So, so she like starts to feed into it, and then they do the whole thing where the hotel scene happens, where she makes them like kiss her on the cheek. But then she does this really funny thing where she leans backwards afterwards after they're making out with her and she makes them kiss each other and she just kind of sits there and watches like, I made these motherfuckers gay. 
stupid, dude. And then they see it and they get confused and they're like, what are you doing? Why did you make us kiss each other, you dumb bitch? And then they don't take that as a red flag. They take that as a green flag and they keep fucking pursuing this bitch. And eventually, I don't really know how it happens, but douchebag ends up getting with her. I guess because she liked that he was more into tennis. Like, he was more adamant about being te like a tennis player and going pro because he didn't want to, like, work for a living. He didn't want to get, like, a 9-to-5 job where he actually, like, do something. He wanted to be lazy. Like, I think his father was a tennis player, too. So he wanted to be lazy and just make money playing tennis and doing sports rather than put in actual work, as fucking douchebags do. So I'm just going to skip ahead a lot because I'm not going to fucking sit there and explain. I'm, this is, I'm not going to do what I did with the Book of Clearance and say I'm not going to explain every part of the movie and then explain every part of the movie. I'm not actually going to explain every part of the movie. Because I'm going to skip ahead to a little, a little bit. Turns out, uh, douchebag starts cheating on her. What a fucking surprise. He starts going and seeing other women when he's on tour for his tennis things. And uh, while she's at college with Art. Art and her go to the same college and they stay f really good friends because they, they keep the little trio. And Art clearly likes the girl and she knows that. Uh, and everything and there's a big point of contention in this little argument that they have when art literally tells him he doesn't care about you he's with another woman he doesn't fucking love you and then today is like do you think i care you think i want love no i only care about fucking tennis i don't care about love i just care about tennis which is why i say she basically it tells them like at the beginning she doesn't want a relationship she just wants a tennis player and i get that and I understand that that's what the plot that they were going for. But you can't say this and then do later on what you do. And honestly, I, everything in the middle of this is just a bunch of flashback sequences of them playing tennis in the championship and going out and then seeing what I like, like having a memory or whatever. It doesn't, the memories don't even like matter with the tennis championship in the place. Like sometimes they do because they name specific dates. And then they go back to that specific date. But like it's so quick and fast, you don't even fucking realize it half the time. So I don't get it. But a lot of it is, is just that, like honestly, the tennis in this movie fucking sucks. They don't show you the tennis game. It, it, it cuts like a fucking action scene from a Marvel movie. Every single time they swing the ball or they hit the ball or they go to serve the ball or do anything, it cuts the camera so you, you don't actually see them do it. So what I'm assuming they did is I'll fucking, I, I, I can show you how they played tennis in this thing really quick. It's literally just like this, dude. I came prepared. Okay, obviously mine's a bit scuffed, okay? Because I can't fucking do it. I have a tennis court. I can't actually show you because I don't have a, like a good high quality camera to do with shots. But they're like... There are shots where Art just like holds the ball in his hand, he just stares at it. He's just like, he's like, uh, and everything like that. The tennis in this movie is not fucking tennis, dude. I don't play tennis, and frankly, I don't watch tennis. I've seen a little bit. I saw tennis one time when that one girl, I think her name is Sharina Williams, Serena Williams, throws a tennis racket at a fucking coach or the little referee, and then gets banned. That's all. All I've seen of tennis, all I know is that's not how you do it. And frankly, me and my brother, I actually had my brother do like a real thing where we actually played out in the backyard, got really sweaty, and it was really funny. So I'm gonna roll that, those clips here. So yeah, I can make tennis cool looking too if I only showed the clips of me hitting the ball all the fucking time. Roll it. I blocked it that time though. I'm trying to hit it softer.
Okay, hopefully that part where like I said, I, I don't, I, I wasn't really going to put that in there. I, know, I didn't really have another place to put that, but my little brother helped me out with that. And he, and like, it was really good of him to do because he saw I was recording. He was like, I want to help you. And I was like, oh, that's super cute. So I thought I might as well do it. And I wanted the roller clips anyway. So why the fuck not do it here? Uh, like I said, I know it's a bit scuffed and it's not actually like that in the fucking movie. They actually like, it's like them hitting the ball and you, it actually like does close up to the ball and whatever you see, but it's still stupid. It doesn't look good. It like, I, what they should have done is have a fucking camera shot, pan outwards, show the entire field and have the people in the movie about tennis actually play fucking tennis. Like you can tell they're not doing it. You, you that's what I'm trying to explain. In the movie, when you watch it, you can tell they're not actually playing the game. That they're just doing shots of them hitting the ball back and forth to each other. They're not actually hitting it back and forth in sequence. They're just hitting it, cutting the camera, going to the other guy, and then hitting it back. You can tell they're not actually playing the fucking game. And it makes me so mad. Because it's not that hard to do. You what, Did you not have stunt double? Did you need a stunt double to play tennis? Are you stupid? Could you not? You're a Hollywood actor. You can't train a little bit to learn how to play tennis. You don't need to look like a pro. I don't think it's hard to look like a pro either. You're just running back and forth, hitting a ball. You seem, they seem pretty athletic. They seem pretty built people. Like, they're, they're pretty, like, jacked people. I don't think they're unathletic. I'm pretty sure they could have just, you know, acted it out. But they don't, and it's basically, that's when I started throwing this movie off, when I started seeing this stupid tennis thing, it was, it was like, it was just basically softcore porn. The movie is softcore porn. It is. It is a fucking porno in plain sight. They're trying to shield to you, and no one is talking about it. Because <laughs> there's so much sex scenes, and they, they, they go on for so long, and it's so st and apparently, there is a fucking sex scene between Art and Zendaya that was cut out. That was actually the, one of the most romantic parts of the film. But they cut it out for the whole snazzy, sleazy sex scene between douchebag and Zendaya. That nothing really happens except they start to have sex. You see Zendaya's ass for like a couple frames. And then they argue about tennis. <laughs> tennis is such a big part of this movie and they never fucking play the game, dude. <laughs> Makes you so angry, but like, I'm gonna skip all the way ahead because I don't remember all the, the fucking time skips flashback moments that are necessary or important because they fucking aren't important. Nothing in the middle part of the movie fucking matters. <laughs> it's like it's just set up for, for something that you can clearly see is gonna happen fucking anyway. Like the setup doesn't really get paid off really well. Because even if it wasn't there, the same thing would have like still happened and you still would have got like the same effect from it. I, I should stop explaining why and actually just explain why. Near the end of the movie, Zendaya makes one of the stupidest decisions I've seen any woman ever make in their entire lives. And I remember what Michelle Obama did to our school lunches. So she, she's with Art. They have been married for, I think it was like fucking 20 years by this point. Eventually she leaves douchebag because he's a fucking douchebag. And he just cares about tennis. And she clearly cares about tennis. But then like... I don't really know why they break up. I think they really break up because he literally is just like kind of a fucking loser and he just doesn't care. But Art clearly does care and he cares about um, Zendaya's character. And he cares about her so much that even though he doesn't want to play tennis, he knows he's really good at it and he is like a thing that he likes to do. But even though he doesn't want to do it anymore, he keeps continuing to put himself in this position and he keeps pushing himself and making himself go to tournaments and doing these things because Zendaya's character has her leg broken. Yeah, I almost forgot to mention that, but I feel like everyone knows at this point. Yeah, she breaks her ankle and she can't play tennis anymore. Well, she can, but I guess she can't go pro anymore because of it. So in, in that, she uses art as a vice to play tennis through him. She makes him play tennis for her because that's the only way she will love him. And she makes that very clear to him. Like, not really, like she doesn't outwardly tell him, but you can tell and Art can tell. Cause there's literally a moment where he says, like at the end of the movie where they're talking about the, the final game between Art and Douchebag, which is like the, the big comeuppance of the film. He like, he's in the bed. He's like trying to get her to console him. And he's like, if I lose, will you still stay with me? Like, even if I don't want to play anymore. And she says nothing. She just sits there and stone, but she's like, why well, is she? I think she goes like, yeah, 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 I'll do it. Yeah. But like, in the moment, you can tell that he knows, that she knows, and you know that that's a fucking lie. 
and it's not like they don't try to hide it or make like make it look emotionally draining they just make it look like everyone is treating art like shit because th this guy's entire life was based around this woman who he literally calls god no not god she's like she's just a comment she's like what am i jesus and he says he just flat out no hesitation says yes he like art I, I gotta say you know actually I, I take back what i said in the beginning of the movie zendaya's acting is not what makes this movie really good art's acting is what makes this movie really good the guy that plays art is doing a fantastic job of playing this like soft-spoken sentimental emotional man who has the utmost care for this woman who he deeply loves and then but also knows she only loves him because he's a tennis player like he's he does such a great job of portraying it that he's like the only really good part of the film and then the, a lot of it is when him and zendaya are bouncing off each other and zendaya like i said is just a good actor so her parts are very good but art's parts are really they're probably my favorite thing in the movie they're doing this whole comeuppance thing this tennis thing and then so you probably saw the clip on TikTok, however, of Zendaya doing her model walk after she leaves the thing and like the, the music starts and the, and the douchebag is in the background staring at her. What happens there is Art, um, like I said, Art is thinking about quitting tennis after this match because he doesn't want to fucking play anymore. He's 40 years old. He is old. He has a child. He never gets to fucking see because he's always doing tennis for Zendaya's character and he never gets time to himself. He's being forced to do something he doesn't want to do anymore, but he still does it out of the love that he has for her. So Zendaya, knowing this, is kind of like on the fence of like, maybe I should leave this man. Maybe I should just drop him off because he doesn't play tennis anymore and go find another tennis player. Because like I said, she said she only cares about tennis. But like I said, like I, like I said, like I said, like I said, like I said, her whole thing is she only cares about tennis, right? You have a child with this man! You gave birth to a baby! That's not a small commitment! You married him! You, you, you're telling me you, you kept a fucking fetus in your stomach for five- Are you stupid, church? Well, yes, church, I'm very fucking dumb. Do you want to know why you're really fucking stupid? We're having this conversation right now? Yes, please, enlighten me. You were just talking about pregnancy, right? Oh yes, I was. It's a very part, big part of the movie. I was about to make a really good point. I was thinking about this earlier. This is actually the reason I wanted to make this video. Why, why do you mean? Did you say five months? Yes, I did say five months. Because I'm fucking retarded. <laughs> you carried a baby for nine months in your stomach to give birth to it, to raise it for like six years, just because you, you like this guy playing tennis? What? What? No, I don't care who you are or what you love. You don't rationalize it like that. No fucking sane person, I guess she's not sane, she's insane, but no fucking person, I don't think, is going to give birth to a child with someone who they think know, who, well, not who they think, who know, don't want to really be in tennis for the rest of their fucking lives. They're not going to do that with someone just fucking because they play tennis. It makes no sense! It ruins everything! It's, it's like, why? Why are you even with him? And then it, it gets even fucking worse, because douchebag comes, and he's like, listen, you know Art's gonna quit, you know he's not gonna play, even if he wins tomorrow. Because she, she tries to get him to throw the game, this is afterwards. She's like, you know he's not gonna wanna play, you know whatever's gonna happen, just fucking leave that douchebag, and come train me, douchebag. And Zendaya, like, props to her at first, she says, no, she says, fuck you, I don't care, I love him, you're an asshole, I hate you, you don't actually care about the game, you just wanna be lazy and win and do whatever, because you know you're gonna win, you're you're just a prick, okay? You don't really care about tennis, you don't care about the game itself, and I care about the game, I do care about the game. So say what you want about her character, she does care about the game itself, like she has a really big passion for the game, and I, again, I get that. But then, Later on, she's like out in the rain or... No, there's a storm going on. There's like a big fucking storm going on. Like a giant tornado, hurricane, whatever. And she's walking home in it because why not call Art? I don't know. Because maybe he'll wonder why you were out and about in the area where the guy he's about to play and you almost dated and they used to fight back in school. And oh, real quick, going back. Art has this really good moment in the sauna where douchebag comes in and the entire time douchebag gets one up over on art because he's more willing to act like an asshole and he's more willing to take charge and like be mean whereas art doesn't want to do that because even with all the stuff the dude does to him he still has a certain level of respect for his friend who used to be his friend but eventually now that he's 40 and they're about to fight one-on-one -on -one in this tennis match he doesn't have that anymore and they meet up in the sauna and they start to speak and the guy douchebag fucking walks in with his dick out and Art calmly just like, if you're going to have a conversation, would you kindly put your fucking dick away? You can tell he's fucking dull as shit. And Art's in his like fucking uh, Aaron Yeager season four mode. So, and then they just have a conversation. And he's like, look, 
I hate you, I don't respect you, and I don't think you respect the game. I'm with Tasha. Tasha's, I think, your name. I'm with Zendaya's character. I'm with this. You're not. You're just mad. You're angry. You're a pussy. You're a loser. And he basically lays into him everything he's wanted to say to him for his entire life, and he lays into him in that one moment, all because he, um, he's been, it's, it's, it's broken breaking point, and he has every right to do it. It's a really amazing fucking scene. And I want to put out one more thing. There was a symbol that they gave to each other where Art knew the one dude would have had sex with her after they left. Because Zendaya chooses the dude to begin with, and then uh, they keep him like, oh, I'm gonna, I might fuck her, I might fuck her. And then they do a thing where like, they play a tennis match, and the sign is he holds up a tennis ball like this. He goes... And then that's how Art knows he had sex. That like, comes in a little bit later. I'm saying, there's a dinosaur storm going on. So then who shows up on the side of the fucking road besides douchebag in his fucking car? And he picks up Zendaya. And they're in the car and they're driving around. He's like, look, it's, he's like, and he kind of does something nice for a change. He's like, look, it's a storm outside. I'm, let me drop you off your hotel. I'm not going to let you fucking walk out in the storm. Don't be an idiot. Just get in the fucking car. And then she gets in the car. And this is when she makes the most stupid decision in her fucking life. She starts to tell douchebag, throw the game. If you throw the game, he will keep playing. I know he will. And the douchebag is like, no, he won't. I know Art. He was my best friend for fucking, like, 20 years. We went to school together. We jerked each other off. It's, I fucking know him inside and out, okay? So he's like, he's telling her, no, like, he's not, even if I throw the game, he's not going to do it. So you won't train me, but you want me to throw the game? Like, come on, dude. Why would I do that? I, I care about my reputation. You know I do. I'm not going to do that. But then, start to fight. They start to argue. And I don't even know why it happens or what sparks this. But they just start making out. Like, they, they, they just start kissing each other. And the whole time, it was Zendaya, like, clearly hating this dude and clearly not wanting to be around him because she makes him, uh, he makes her uncomfortable and all his stupid fucking antics and everything. She doesn't like him, clearly. They just start making out and then they fuck each other in the back of the car. And, it, it, I, like, I literally audibly out loud yelled in the movie theater. It was me, my two buddies, who are, who are also men. <laughs> We went there for Zendaya butt, okay? We went there for Zendaya butt and boobs. We, we went there. Yes, right. That's where we went there. We went there for men reasons, okay? Say what you want. I'm respectful of women. I love them as much as I love them as much as the next guy. But we we went there for a certain reason. You knew what this movie was about. We knew what this movie was about. We went there for a reason. But I got super into the actual plot of the movie. I stopped caring about that whole point of it, the whole sex plot of it. And I got invested into the story. So while we're in a movie theater full of, I think it was like 20 women as from what I saw. And we're like in the very front. I audibly yell, Zendaya, what the actual fuck are you doing? You are the worst woman in the world. This is the stupidest thing a girl could do. Like I, I start like, you know, you shouldn't be yelling at the movie theater, but I heard them chuckle in the background. So I think it was okay. I think we are all in the movie theater collectively like, okay, this is stupid. Because it is. It is such, such, such a dumb turn. Especially when, like I said, you realize she has a child. <laughs> I wouldn't be just up in arms about her doing this if, they, if she didn't give birth to a fucking kid. And she didn't, like, leave the building one time. Oh, that's right. No, she leaves. She meets up with Art, with the douchebag, goes home, sees Art in bed with her kid with their kid, like, laying in bed with their kid because he never gets to fucking see her. And then she goes and meets up with douchebag to tell him to throw the game, I think. Which makes it even worse. Like, how are you going to do that? How, bro? What is wrong with you? I don't care who you are or what you're doing. You have a child of, like, six years. You didn't just give birth to the baby. She's a fucking... She's like a fucking... She's more than a toddler. She's tall. She's fucking, what are you doing? It made me so angry. I'm so mad. I'm so mad! Yeah, so she does all that, and then the tennis game happens. And then they keep going back and forth, and it's like a tie game, and Douchebag is actually clearly getting the upper hand, because Art's sort of like, phoning it in, because he doesn't want to play anymore, and he keeps looking at Zendaya every time he does something, like, mm, I don't want to do this. And like, she knows, and she looks at me, and she's like, I, I think I really fucked up, I think really fucked up. Because she also says something to them in the beginning, where she doesn't come between friendships, because she doesn't want to ruin their friendship. And then she feels that she 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 did because she dated one of them and she married the other one. But she didn't. Like I said before, Art and Douchebag were always going to fight and break up with each other. Like, they that was always going to happen. You could tell just from the way their personalities work. Like, that whole thing with one person being a complete and utter asshole and one being so overly nice works when you're, like, children and, like, you're growing up, like, teenagers up to, like, near adulthood. But once you become, like, in your 30s or whatever, I feel like that sort of falls off. And people, like, douchebag, 
will always just be children. Like, they'll never learn to grow up and mature because they're, they're always just be looking for the next bitch to fuck or the next thing, easy, quick way to make money. Like, they'll never have a purpose. Like, they'll never, I guess not have a purpose. They'll never give themselves like, an actual purpose to, like, be nice or, like, have, like, a plan out in their life. They'll always go by the whim and do whatever. So they were always going to break up with each other. So that whole, I don't agree with that whole sort of story beat anyway. But so then it gets to the point in the film where uh, Douchebag wants to win the game so badly. Or honestly, it's weird to me because it's sort of a respect thing, I think. I think he shows art because he wants him to know because he like he still has some he does also have some level of care for art left especially after he got bombarded with insults in the sauna so he wants to let him know that it happened but here's the thing if you did have some level of respect why'd you fuck his wife why'd you try to get his with his wife do a bunch of stuff even though you know they have a child so douchebag does the little symbol where he holds up the tennis ball and he like showcases that they had sex. And then Art just yells, oh, fuck off, as he has everything to do, and he gets a penalty for it, because apparently you're not allowed to cuss in tennis, that's a rule, and everything, which I actually is pretty cool, if you can keep your, your cool in tennis, you know, whatever. Also, the fucking noises that they make, Ugh. you'll hear me do them in the clips, that wasn't me being funny, I was referencing the movie, like, that's, they do it in the fucking film, I don't know why, it makes no sense, why do you make those, do tennis people actually make those noises? Is that what they do? They they sound they they all sound like they just had they 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 came and she kept sucking. Is that what it is? That's the noise you make. It's like they're trying to be like cool, like martial arts people do it. But martial arts people do it because they have a fucking reason to do it. Isn't it like a chi thing? Like it heightens the power of your hit if you yell like that. And they don't yell like ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. They they go like hu hi so. Like, they're manly when they do it, at least. Like, it sounds like a bunch of... I don't know. It's, I don't like it. This thing they say they have, they have sex. And then someone wins. I don't know who wins. But whoever wins afterwards, they jump and they hug each other. Like, they embrace. But that makes no sense. He fucked your wife. And the mother of your daughter. And also cheated on her. And you hate him. And he's a douchebag. Why hug him? They're, it makes, they, they don't, they don't, that's what I mean, they, they set up these things, and then they pay them off without actually paying them off. It's just like, oh, so what happens to Zendaya after this? Do they hate, do they both equally hate her? Are they friends now again, and they hate her because she did ruin their lives? Is she still going to be married to Art after this, or is she going to go train Douchebag? Are Douchebag and Art going to become bros again? And then Art and then Douchebag is going to be like the uncle of the daughter? It's it's never explained or elaborated upon because the movie doesn't care. The movie just wanted to show a couple sex scenes with Zendaya. And the sex scenes aren't that fucking cool. Like I said, you, you see Zendaya ass for like a couple frames. And that's like the most sexual gratification you'll get in the film. That's it. Just Zendaya ass. That's it. You, you don't see them like really getting undressed. You don't really see them going at it. It always cuts away. They start arguing before it happens. Art doesn't fuck her. Like I said, they cut out the scene where they were supposed to uh, and everything for just to make him look more like a soppy, wet noodle. I don't like the fucking movie. Um, so, I mean, I guess that's pretty much it. I think I'm done. I really think I had like, a big wrap-up sort of gimmick here. I think I've been talking for 35 minutes. Uh, it's probably going to be another 40-minute video of a shitty movie review where I shouldn't have talked as much. She, usually they were like 10 minutes videos or like 12 minutes because i would make sure i would only do them touch on the little touching points that i remembered and i would only do them my way home from the theater so when i got home i would cut myself off and it was a really good way and now i've started doing these longer ones and that's kind of bad because you know no one's really gonna sit here and watch me talk about well one person was but i know like besides that no one's really gonna sit here and talk listen to me talk about challengers for 35 minutes Maybe, maybe they will, maybe you are, I don't know, if you are, thank you, I really appreciate it, I appreciate all of you, like I said, um, I got 200 subscribers the other day, I mentioned that again in my Bin Laden video, I think, but I want to actually talk about it here, it's really cool, this is like, this has, no, I know it's a small number, but I don't give a shit, it's a number to me, it's, it's, some, it's a milestone to me, like, I, it's just, it's actually fantastic, <laughs> I like it, I don't care, I, I like it, I do this mostly for fun, and this is fun for me to do, and I like hearing myself go back and yell and scream and get really passionate. I don't know. I, I, I'm i rambling on and out about But, like, this movie, there's just nothing really good about it. It just, like, 
besides art and Zendaya's acting, which doesn't save the film. It's not, it's fucking, it's a horrible romance film. It's a horrible tennis film. It's a horrible sport film. All of these things it tries to be, it never goes fully into. It Like, it kind of touches on them. Like, the film, I don't know what the film's actually supposed to be. I don't know what the story is. If you want to watch a good romantic comedy, like, I guess it's not even a comedy either. If you want to watch a good romance movie, uh, Anyone But You with Sidney Sweeney and that one dude is actually fantastic. That one's actually super good and super well done. I went into it not thinking that because the trailers and everything. Like, I do watch, I know a lot of people don't watch trailers anymore. I do because I like to see um, how bad they are, especially horror movie trailers. Horror movie trailers are my favorite ones ever because, um, they either spoil too much of the film or they give you nothing at all. So you have either no expectations or too much expectation. And either way you go into it, it's shit. <laughs> so either way, it's, it's fucking fantastic how they do it. And now I'm rambling on about stuff that doesn't even matter. But they, Anyone But You is a great film. There, there's like the comedy in that always hits. Sydney Sweeney is an amazing actor. The, uh, Bouncy Off the Dude is really good. Uh, and, and the, the um, emotional and romance in that actually makes sense and comes from a place where like you can relate to it and you know you can actually see it happening in real life and everything and it's just really good and it's really well, well done. This one is not. It's like what would happen if you got, um, what's his name, Johnny Sins to write a tennis movie. That's what it feels like. It's just, it feels like Johnny Sins wrote a tennis movie, essentially, is what happened. Because it feels like a, it has like a shitty porn plot to it and that's about it. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to start wrapping this up before I keep rambling on more and more and more and make this video longer and longer than it has to be. Thank you for watching. If you did, I really appreciate it. Um, don't watch this movie. It's bad. If you want to watch this movie, I recommend getting with a bunch of friends and just watch it to make fun of it. It's one of those movies that you'd be, it's really nice to make fun of because the characters make such stupid decisions that you, you, it, they're like um, berating them is funnier than the actual movie. So if you're going to watch it, I recommend doing it with friends and getting drunk too. That would, that, that's always a nice touch. Getting drunk is always a nice touch when you're watching a goofy, shitty film. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. You did. I've said that four times right now, I think. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the views. Appreciate all the subscribers. Appreciate all the support. It keeps motivating you want me to keep going. Uh, thank you for watching. If you did, I appreciate it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> thank you for watching. No, stop!